promised this short video on flashing the M8Q-VAN M8 QCAN GPS module uh, with MSP. If you come in here and scroll down to the bottom of this MSP parameters, this is where we got our serial protocol for Autopilot 4.1 MSP here and our GPS type and then this is the barometer and the magnetometer and stuff on the uh, M8 QCAN GPS module. Now down at the bottom if MSP doesn't work which it did not on this GPS module whereas this identical one it worked perfectly. Uh, please update M8 QCAN to latest firmware first. I did that after verifying that it didn't work MSP and it fixed it. When M8 QCAN launched MSP sensor has not been implemented. The first batch of M8 QCAN with that firmware preloaded pre doesn't support MSP. Now I've already flashed. We'll come out here and push this GPS aside. We'll. This is 765 wing. I need 743 wing. Oops. Okay, 743 wing. We'll hook up to the CAN bus on the GPS. CAN bus comes from automobiles and was used to cut down on the amount of wiring they had to put inside automobiles. The individual peripherals are addressable and can all be on the same bus. In other words, one piece of copper on a car. The body's used as ground. Okay, <laughs> now that I've talked over all my BS, there is the GPS compass module. Uh, to get the compass module and the GPS to power up, I uh, do have to put external battery on it, if you remember, because the CAN bus doesn't get power. And then we'll hook in over here with USB. Now we can go up, pull up Mission Planner. Oh, well, let me talk about this over here. What we're going to do is we're going to do this firmware update. And up over here is update firmwares. Now, there's several ways to do this. And I just happen to have a 743 wing, which is really the most simple way to do this. I, uh, as you saw, hooked it up to the CAN bus. If you click right here, doesn't look like it's a clickable link in all black, does it? Usually clickable links are blue for us. And what we're looking for is this AP peripheral dot bin file we'll save it to our local hard drive and then we'll come back into mission planner we'll connect to our light controller this GPS is fixed so it's liable to just pop up working but that's not why we're here Inside Mission Planner, inside Optional Hardware, there is a UAV CAN section. With all this set up like I have it, you can come in here and scan for peripherals. 
Now I have already updated the software version on this one. It was not this version. I guess I should have videoed it when I did it, but I didn't. And the simple thing I did was I clicked update. Do you want to search the internet for an update? I, no, because I downloaded one, if you remember. Oops. That would be this one. Guess I deleted the one I downloaded earlier and actually flashed, didn't I? Now again, we click update here. Don't want to search the internet for an update. I want one locally. So that was this AP underscore peripheral dot bin we got from that link over there. We just click open. And there you are. That would update the software. Let's look out. Do you want to search the internet for an update? Yes. You want to search for the firmware? No. No update available. Yeah, it's on current version now. <laughs> search the internet and search for beta. No update available. So anyway, it's on the current version now. But that was what I did inside. Now, like it says right here, after enabling S. L can you will no longer be able to connect via Mavlink. So if I come over here try to connect, it doesn't work. So I do have to power down the board. Let it reboot. Come back in. And then I can reconnect. There you go. And there's everything coming back in. Um, and this is again our new plane, current version 4.0.9 on Mission Planner, current version 1.3.74. Let's make sure of that. Check for updates. New updates available. We're on current version. And we've seen recently in the firmware here that we're on current version. So that's the way you could update a M8Q-CAN C -A -N, GPS module if you had a F743 board and hooked it to the CAN bus on the 743 board and went into Ardu Pilot Mission Planner uh, setup UAV CAN and scan for devices. That's how I did it. Thank you guys so much.